Today is April 22nd, it's supposed to be the first day of the demolition of Stairway to Heaven, aka Haiku Stairs. I decided to come out and do the Moana Lua Middle Ridge Trail to Haiku Stairs. Since I never recorded a video and I never shared my thoughts about this trail, about the Haiku Stairs. And today is a great day for that. It's a beautiful weather, it's kind of cool and windy hopefully not too windy on the ridges up there and uh, yeah there's a lot to talk about today so just sit back relax and uh, enjoy the video what is really nice about the Moanolua Valley Trail it actually takes you through some really cool places, some old bridges, junglish environment between some palm trees. It's very enjoyable, it's not too hard, it can be a hike on its own. So this trail, the Moanalua Valley Trail, actually is home for the Kulana Ahane State Trail, which leads through the valley all the way up to Moanalua Saddle, right on top of the H3 Highway. The actual Kulana Ahane Trail is pretty long, but to get to the stairway to heaven, you have to take Moanalua Middle Ridge, which called kind of the legal way, but it's not a sanctioned trail, so it's more complicated than it sounds. So I'm not gonna get into that. It is really hard to believe that we are at the point then, they're gonna take down stairway to heaven. It still feels unreal. Two years ago, when they started talking about it, I knew this is gonna take a long time because Hawaii is slow with everything, but yes, we are here. And it's very surprising, I have to say. 10 years ago when I moved here, uh, Stairway to Heaven was not such a big thing. It just started to gain popularity, but then Instagram, social media, slowly people were coming from all over the world and they wanted to see Stairway to Heaven. And yeah, maybe many of you say, oh, it's because of social media they're taking down the stairs. Well, maybe part of it, but it's more to that. There is a neighborhood, there is a state, there is money. There is so many things involved in here. I'm not going to talk about it. I know I'm going to have a lot of haters commenting on this, so I'm just going to share my thoughts. And it's pretty sad. I have to say it's pretty sad. This is one of those really old historic landmarks the whole world knows about it and we got to the point that we have to take it down because some reasons well that's pretty sad this is the hawaii way whenever something happens they rather close the trail than to deal with the problem and i tell you what in the last 10 years i met so many people in the mountains and we are really good friends and the people who hikes these mountains, they really respect the mountains. I got a lot of good relationships out of these, just hiking around these trails. And it's just pretty sad that nobody cares. Nobody cares about hiking in Hawaii, nobody cares about hikers. Why is that? After the three miles of easy walk, walking, we are heading uphill. The next two miles is gonna be some good elevation game with a lot of hills and eroded sections. Someone lost its thing for the pole. Well, I'm gonna take it as a trash. 
Erosion, unfortunately, is the biggest problem here in Hawaii. The whole Hawaiian islands are made of lava rocks. And on the top, we have some loose ground, kind of clayish uh, ground, which is very easily crumble. And basically, if you want to keep it this really simple, more people hikes on a trail, more eroded it gets. Uh, this is how it is. And this is what happened with the Moanalua Middle Ridge nine, 10 years ago. It was barely a trail and now it is a huge brown eroded line of the mountain. Even if you go back in time, you know that the Koala Mountains, whatever, what I'm hiking right now, actually was a huge shield volcano, much higher than now. And it got eroded throughout the years without human interaction. All right, this is the spot I usually take a break. Woo, very windy in here. And it used to be a rock in there, so I call the place the rock. But I actually was landsliding down into the valley. So actually right here from the rock is starting the fun part. It's gonna be some more climbing, more scrambling. You're gonna get more exposed. However, today is pretty windy, so I really have to watch out my steps on the ridge line. about erosion you see that was a pretty eroded section it used to be a rope up there and it was much uh, steeper and now just kind of eroded the whole climbing section so yeah erosion is a thing for sure so that is the Moanalua saddle that's where the Kulana Ahane trail leads on top of the H3 highway and right behind that ridge is actually stairway to hell if you ever wondered why they're called the Moanalua middle ridge well that one on the left called Triple Ridge, that one on the right called Red Hill Ridge. So right in the middle is Moanalua Middle Ridge. Makes sense? see I never really use the rope they are just like a small rope tied to that anchor you can't really trust the ropes for sure this is the spot where I've seen throughout the years a lot of people turn around sometimes the clouds lowered 
and then the rain starts and they freak out and turn back which is better turn back than get into an accident but yeah throughout the years this got way worse way more eroded now actually these stairs are not part <laughs> of stairway to heaven there are some volunteers up here who try to save this tree called the Manono tree which is a very rare tree in Hawaii and they try to make sure people don't hang on their root because it's barely standing in the ground so they maneuvered some stairs around it so people can go and avoid it Stairway to heaven, not too far from here Today doesn't feel like there's a lot of people coming up the trail Yesterday, Sunday, it was tremendous amount of people on the stairs You know, everyone wants to do it one more time before they take it off But today it's kind of calm, there are a couple of people here and there, but nothing crazy I don't see any workers on the top yet, so Let's see, when I get closer Higher we get, there are some beautiful views of the Kolau Mountains You see all the big peaks, Lanihuli, Konahuanui Super nice Okay, we made it to the top of Pukiahi Akahoe. That's 2820 feet high mountain. Probably 99% of the people have no idea that actually this mountain top, right before you drop to Stairway to Heaven, is the third highest peak in the Kola Mountains. Is it's part of Hawaii 100 highest peaks. Well, one more time, the peak name is Pukiahi Akahoe, and it's 20. 820 feet Traversing from Pukiahi Akahoe is actually a really nice little traverse on the KST uh, You have views to the ocean to the windward side leeward side. It looks pretty beautiful How shiny everything is just imagine how many people held on to that how many thousands of people climbed this to make it that shiny well it definitely has a weird feeling when I'm up here you kind of feel like it's kind of the end and they can be back here anytime any any day and take this thing off I'm happy I could still hike on it one more time but who knows maybe they don't even gonna take it out take it out I don't know anymore they supposed to start today, they didn't start today, so... So there is a helicopter flying around and then the guy inside told everyone on the top of stairway to go down. I'm not sure what that means. They're gonna come up today, I don't think so. Oh, that helicopter just landed. Who knows, maybe there are some workers in there. So that helicopter dropped already three people. I'm not 100% what they're doing or if they are part of the construction company, but interesting. Stairway to Heaven aka Haiku Stairs was built in 1942 and totally closed permanently on 1987 so for a very long time it was closed and now after the closure 82 years later they wanna demolish it what a shame such a beautiful area it's really 
something like a World War II structure, which I think we should keep instead of trying to destroy it. I'm really hoping there is still some hope to save some of it, but I don't know.